This is the restaurant near the Dell in Hyde Park. It's called the Serpentine Bar and Grill. But humans are not the only customers. It's become the home of a lesser black-backed gull who hunts pigeons. He likes to perch on the roof. He's a big gull with unusually deep yellow bill and legs. There's a distinctive ring of black dots around the yellow-green iris of his eye. His usual hunting ground is the shore next to the restaurant. He watches from the water, waiting for pigeons to collect on the shore. Then he comes ashore and tries to grab one. The local pigeons are wary of him. The easiest target for him is a pigeon washing or preening when it shuts its eyes for a moment. But he doesn't always get one. After an unsuccessful attempt, he rejoins his mate on the roof. They both fly off and he comes down for another try. Two more attacks still don't succeed. Sometimes he lies down to make himself less conspicuous. Now he manages to grab a pigeon by the neck, carries it into the water and tries to kill it by biting through its spinal cord. The pigeon looks doomed. But amazingly, it manages to struggle free. After its lucky escape, the pigeon recovers under a tree before flying off. This time the gull catches and kills his pigeon. It's soon dead, but flaps convulsively for a while. In England? He starts to devour it. Pigeons are not his only target. Here he has caught an Egyptian gosling. An envious carrion crow looks on. Crows can take goslings and ducklings themselves.
Often the gull eats his pigeon on the edge of the shore, where it's easier to peck at, but he can still take it into the water if disturbed. He shares his kills with his mate. Somehow it seems odd to see a gull sharing anything. Sometimes he carries a pigeon up to the roof. He killed this pigeon on dry land. A crow and some magpies hang around, hoping to catch a loose scrap, but he shoes them away. This is the first picture I took of the gull, dating from 2010. At first he used to catch pigeons by dropping on them from the restaurant roof. dragging them into the water and drowning them. It was only occasionally successful. But over the years he has refined his technique. And now he catches a pigeon every day, and sometimes two. Once I saw him chasing a pigeon in straight flight and nearly catching it. I got two hasty shots. Lesser black-backed gulls are not the only big gulls on the lake. Herring gulls with paler grey backs are bigger and stronger, but they haven't yet started hunting pigeons. However, they are happy to finish off the remains. This is a young herring gull, still in its mottled juvenile plumage. An adult herring gull gets the last scraps off another victim. The gull and his mate have bred successfully in several years. They nest on flat roofs, possibly even on the restaurant, but we can't see that from the ground. The youngster is fed while it's still on the nest, but as soon as it can fly, it's expected to find its own food. They chase it away. Two other lesser blackbacks here have occasionally tried hunting pigeons, but unsuccessfully so far. It's a skill that takes years to perfect. There are reports of a lesser blackback killing pigeons in St James's Park next to the bridge and also on the Regent's Canal near Regent's Park. Both these places are only a couple of miles away and it may just be our own gull looking for unwary pigeons that haven't seen him before. But gulls do copy each other's feeding strategies and probably this behaviour will spread. Anyway, there's an endless supply of pigeons.